everybody. Welcome to Lotus Petal Live. Uh, my name's Leah. We're going to be teaching a little ab um, and glute flow today. So my glutes are a little tight, so we're also going to do a little glute stretch. Um, so good morning, and we'll get started. Alrighty. So let's just start seated. Um, just an easy supasana, whatever that feels good for you as far as seated goes. Um, I just want to mention today we are going to use a prop. I never usually do, but today we're going to use a block. This one's pretty thick, so we're going to see how this goes for me because we're going to use this for our glute at one point, so it might make it harder. Um, so if you don't have a block, just use a book. A hard cover book is a great idea. Or if you've got kids, uh, if you've got a little bouncy ball laying around, that's also a really good option. Or just a towel, a small towel rolled up, or nothing at all, no big deal. Um, it's just a little extra bonus. Uh, sometimes having a prop just makes you connect a little bit more because you have to hold on to it, right? So um, if you have one, great. If not, no worries. Alrighty, so let's just start in seated. Hands on your knees, rolling your shoulders back. Just deepen your breath. Just use this as a moment to connect here. So a nice inhale, up, lifting up the shoulders, and then exhale, rolling them back and down. Inhaling, bringing them up. And exhale, bringing them back and down. One more time, inhale up. And exhale, keep them back, hold them back here. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Give me a nice lift and reach. Reach through your rib cage. Reach your hips away from the ground. Stretch yourselves up and then reach forward as far as you can. Reaching your fingertips all the way down to your mat. Letting your head and shoulders go. Pushing your bum back behind you. See if you can walk your fingers just one more step further forward. Really finding space in your spine. Letting your chin just relax down to the ground. One nice big inhale here through your back body. And then exhale, slowly roll it up. Beautiful. Put your hands onto your knees. We're just gonna do a little spine flow here. So what I want you to do is just roll your chest forward, roll your heart forward, reach it as you inhale. And then as you exhale, I want you to round out your back, tuck your hips under, tuck your chin. We'll just do it three times. So inhale, reach it forward, rock forward, and then exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. And the last one. Inhale. And then exhale. Pull it back. Really tuck your hips under for me. Squeeze and round. And then bring yourself back into neutral spine. From here, we're going to go right onto all fours. So just rock yourself forward and bring yourself onto all fours. Beautiful. I'm going to come sideways so you can see me better. I'm going to be doing a lot of shape shifting here. So we'll start here. So we're just going to do a couple cat cows, get our spine going a little bit more. So I want you to keep your toes tucked for me. Inhale. I want you to round out, tuck your hips under, suck your belly and squeeze. I want you almost to push your whole palm away from the mat, just be on your fingertips. And then exhale, release. Let your tailbone come up to the sky, crown of the head. Push your whole palm into the mat. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale. Bring it up. Big squeeze and then exhale. Release. Let it all go. As you let it all go, I want you to draw your shoulders back. Pull your elbows back a little bit. Two more times. Inhale. And then exhale. Beautiful. Reaching up to the sky. Last time. Inhale. Pull it up. And then exhale, bring it all the way back. Really reach to the tailbone up. Let your stomach flow all the way down to the mat. And then bring yourself back into center for me. When we do core, I usually do a lot of obliques, right? Something that we don't always think about. We always just think about our middle stomach, so we work for our obliques. So just to kind of fire up and wake that up, I want to do some side kind of cat cows. So what I want you to do is draw your the center, your elbows back behind you, right? So your your elbow, your whatever they're called, the eyes of your, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to leave that because I can't think of it right now. I woke up late. All right, so elbows are back. So I want you to have soft elbows, okay? So what we do is you want you to draw your right elbow back towards your right hip. I want you to squeeze. I want you to pull your right hip up towards your elbow. So what I want you to think about is crunching your side body as tight as you can. I want you to feel like you're almost going to get a charley horse 
all through your side. I really want you to squeeze, 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 squeeze it as tight as you can. And then exhale, bring it back to center. Beautiful. We're going to go to the other side. So left elbow, left hip, squeeze, pull. Pull it in as tight as you can. Squeeze. And then bring it back to center one more time on each side. Squeeze, pull it in. Tight, draw. I want you to feel like you're drawing your palm all the way back and sliding the mat. Squeeze. Beautiful, last time. Other side, left, squeeze, draw it in. Pull your hip up, squeeze through your side body, and then release it back into center. Beautiful. All right, from here, I want you to slowly stretch your right leg back. Stretch it back, keep it on the mat. I want you to just kind of push your heel back to start. Just give yourself a little calf stretch. And then rock it back forward. What we're gonna do from here is we're gonna pivot our left foot just to the side a little bit. So we're gonna open up through our side. So I want you to take your arm up over your head, and I want you to stretch it over. I want you to stretch that side body, the part we just contracted, I really want you to release it and open it up. And then I want you to inhale, draw the arm and the leg up to the sky as high as you can. Squeeze, lift it up really, really high, and then exhale, bring it back down. Beautiful. Keep it going, inhale, draw it up. Squeeze, get up a little bit higher, get that leg higher this time, and then release. Three more times, inhale up, beautiful, and then exhale down. Think about squeezing your glute here, really try to fire it up, fire up your side oblique as well. Squeeze, beautiful. Last one, bring it up all the way, lift, beautiful. Holding it here, I want you to bend your knee and draw your foot behind you. I want you to grab onto the top of your foot, roll your shoulder back, and then start to kick your foot out and open it up. Give yourself this beautiful teardrop shape, squeezing. Now you're gonna be contracting in your lower back a little bit. Squeeze and breathe. One more big breath here. And then exhale, take it back to where you were. Hold it here. I want you to stretch that arm out to the side. Keep your leg up for me. And I want you to pulse it for 10, nine, eight, seven. That's it. Squeezing your glute right in the big belly part of your bum. Squeeze it for five, four, Three, two, and one. And then release it down to the ground. And then release your knee. Beautiful. We're going to go right to the other side, which means I get to do my handstand. You turn around. Maybe you like this? Maybe like this. We'll see how it looks. All right. So stretch your left leg back to start. Push your heel back behind you. Just open up your calf a little bit. Take a nice breath there. Beautiful. Exhale, release. We're going to pivot our right foot out to the side so that we can open ourselves up into the side and find some balance, right? Stretch your arm, stretch your leg. Inhale, lift it up as high as you can. Squeeze. Exhale, release. Take your time here, full breath. Really focus on your extension. I want you to focus on length here, not contracting. I want you to focus on being longer and leaner. Squeeze. Beautiful. Last two. Bring it up. Beautiful, last one. Stretch it out and then squeeze it up. Hold it here, hold it. Find your connection on your side. Bend your knee, drawing it back behind you. Find your foot and then slowly start to kick it out and get that teardrop shape. Squeeze, let your shoulder pull back, contract in your lower back. One last big breath here, inhale. And then exhale, release, bring everything back to the stretch. We're gonna do those leg lifts now for 10, nine. Beautiful, really still focusing on that length, right? Don't worry about the contraction. The contraction's only in your glute. Everything else is long and lean. For four, three, two, and one. Bringing your hands back into center and releasing your feet down onto the ground. Take your knees nice and wide and just free your, give yourself a nice child's pose here. Stretching your arms in front of you and your bum back behind you. Just taking three breaths here. Nice big breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Beautiful, last one. And then exhale, slowly ripple yourself back into tabletop. From here, I feel weird stretching. I'm gonna go back here for you guys. From here, I want you to tuck your toes under and slowly start drawing your knees up, pulling your belly button in. So like we're gonna go into bear, we're gonna go into a hover. So I want you to just draw your knees up off the ground. So you're holding here, you're squeezing really tight. I want you to round out your back a little bit for me. 
Give me an angry bear. Beautiful. Holding it here. Nice big breath. Two more breaths. We're going to pull our right knee into our chest. So I want you to squeeze it in. Squeeze it in. And then pull it back. Beautiful. Other side. Squeeze. How tight can you get your knee in towards your chest? Pull it back. Other side. Squeeze. Pull. And bring it back. Left side. Squeeze. Pull. Beautiful. One more time on each side. Keep the connection. Squeeze. Beautiful. Last one. Pull it up. Squeeze. And then bring it back into bear. Holding your bear. Rolling your shoulders back. I want you to take your knees out as wide as you can. And then pull them and get them to touch. Squeeze. Push them out. And pull them in. For four. For three. Don't rush it. Take your time here. I'm going to try to go slower. I like to rush things sometimes. Last two. It's definitely easier when you rush it. Last one. Take it out as wide as you can. And then take it in. Beautiful. From here, slowly draw your belly button and bring yourself up. All the way to your first downward dog of the day. Pedaling it out. Shift, move, and breathe here. Let your hips move as well as your ankles. Right? Don't just feel like you're pedaling out your ankles. Let your hips go side to side. Breathe in here. One more time on each side. Take your time. Beautiful. Inhale, coming up high on the toes, and then exhale, press it down. Big breath. Inhale, high up on the toes. Exhale, push it down. Inhale, this time when you come up high on the toes, I want you to ripple forward into your plank position. Hold it here. Squeeze. I want you to rock forward, so I want you to go onto the very tippy, tippy toes, and then push back onto your heels. Push. Come roll forward, and then push it back. Roll forward, push it back. Three more, roll and back. Last two, beautiful, last one. Hold it in that forward position, rolling your shoulders back. I want you to pedal your knees down one at a time. Tap and tap, tap and tap. Firing up that core for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three. I'm starting to feel this in my shoulders too. Last two and one. Hold it here. Chaturanga, nice and slow. For four, three, two. All the way to the ground. Release. Beautiful. Lengthen your legs. Stretch them back. Staying here. Just coming up for a little baby cobra. So drawing your elbows back behind you. Inhale. Rise it up. Exhale. Sink it down. Turning our head to the right this time. Squeeze. I want you to think about your oblique as well. Draw your elbow back. Squeeze. I want you to turn back behind you. See if you can see your heel. Exhale. Release. Inhale. Coming up to the left. Really big twist. Push it back. Look and reach. Beautiful. And then exhale. Release. Letting your arms go long behind you. Down the mat. So palms are going to be facing up. Forehead's going to be down. Roll your shoulders down and back. I want you to think about your core still. So I don't want your belly pushing into the mat. I want your belly pulling away from the mat. We're going to slowly lift everything up off the mat. Squeeze and lift. Nice big lift. Squeeze it up. And then exhale, sink it down. Three more times. Inhale, rain it up. Rise up. Lift. And then exhale. Sink. Two more. Inhale, lifting it up. Squeeze, you can hit your legs a little bit higher, reach them up away from your body. Exhale, sink it down. Last one, inhale, rise it up, squeeze. Squeeze up a little bit higher for four, three, two, and one. Release, beautiful, bring your hands back to your sides. Tuck your toes under and push yourself up back to plank if you can on your toes or come off your knees. Pull it up, squeeze. Beautiful, press it back. Downward dog. Holding it here, doing the shift, move and breathe again. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. Grab water whenever you need it. I know I will because I have to talk so much. All right, from downward dog. Inhaling up high onto the toes and exhale, sink it down. Inhale, right leg up to the sky for me. Lift it up, stretch it, reach. Beautiful. And to bend your knee and open up through your hip. Really stretch it out. Let everything go. Open it up. Beautiful. Exhale. Bring it back into your center. Hold it 
here, I want you to take it down to the ground, but instead of it bringing it back next to your right or your left foot, I want you to take it across. So cross it over to the far side of your mat, and then inhale, bring it up. Take it down across your left foot, and then inhale, bring it back up. You got it. Take it down. Squeeze it up. Three more. Down and across. And up. Last two. Take it down. Take it up. Last one. Really reach and lift it up. Hold it here. I want you to hold it. I want you to pulse for ten. Nine. Eight. Reaching away from your body, pulling your belly button in, pushing your hands away from your mat. Four, three, two, and one. Stretch it up and now pull it through. I want you to come in for runner's lunge. Beautiful. Nice little rest. Hold it here. Take your left hand, release it down all the way onto the mat. Sink your hips down nice and low. Inhale. Open it up. Stretch. Exhale. Take it back down. But don't rest here. Just sweep your hand on the ground and then open it up. Beautiful. One more time. Same thing. Sweep it down. Open it up. Beautiful. Exhale, bring both hands down. We're going to step forward from here. So what I want you to do is use your core, use your legs, fire up your legs, you want you to squeeze your thighs together so it kind of draws you up a little bit. Feel that? And then I want you to pull yourself up to standing. Beautiful. Inhale. Rise your arms up. And then exhale, take your hands through heart center. Beautiful. We're going to do a little lunge series here, okay? So now we're going to get warm and we're going to get a little bit stronger into our glutes. So when you step that same left leg back into a lunge, step it back. Beautiful. Roll your shoulders back and down. Sink yourself nice and low. I want you to take your arms out to the side, straight arms, and I want you to turn windmill towards the right. Windmill. Beautiful. And then exhale, bring it back in. Beautiful. Exhale. Twist again to the right. We're staying with the right side. Give ourselves that nice twist. And then back in through center. Beautiful. And then exhale. Last time, twist. Beautiful. From here, bringing our hands back in through heart center. Sinking down nice and low. I just want you to pulse for 10. 9. That's it. Keep your knee nice and low. Squeeze. The lower you go, the harder it is. So take your challenge. See where you're at today. For four, three, two, last one, hold it here, hold it as low as you can be. Now I want to slowly peel your right heel off the ground and bring it so that both toes are on the ground. You're balancing, you're squeezing here. Now the challenge, we're gonna pulse again, are you ready? Here we go for 10, nine, eight. Everybody's squeezing everything really tight. This is hard if your heel drops, who cares? Just go with it for four, three, Two, and one, sink that heel down to the ground. Beautiful, I want you to bring it back up to standing. Here we go, lift it up, squeeze. Beautiful, step it back one last time, same leg. Step it back, beautiful. Sink it nice and low, beautiful. Hold it here, holding it. I want you to reach your arms forward. Reach them forward as far as you can go, beautiful. Now, the, all the weight's in your front leg now because your arms are reaching forward. All right, we're going to pulse again. We're going to pulse. Squeeze. So now you should feel it a lot in your front leg. You can't have any focus in your back leg now. All the way to there. Go for the burn for seven, six, five, four, three. Isn't this fun? Two, and one. Release it down. Nice work. Step it back, plank for me. <sighs> Hold your plank. Squeeze. Right leg's going to come up to the sky. Hold it up here. Same leg, we're staying with it. We're gonna do little pulses. Lift, lift, you got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it up if you can for Chaturanga. Up dog, Oh, down dog. All right, resting in your down dog. This is your resting pose. So if you need to come down onto your knees and take a child's pose at any time, please do so. Otherwise, inhaling up high on the toes, exhaling, pressing down. One more time, inhale up high, and exhale, press it down. Left leg's going to come up, reach that stretch. Hold it in here, which is bend your knee and open up through your side body. Look under your left shoulder, opening up your hips.
up, stretch it out. And then exhale, bring it back in through center. Hold it in here, we're gonna do that crossover leg drop. So you're gonna drop your left leg down across your right, and then bring it up, squeeze. Bring it down, take it up. Do it slowly with intention so that your muscles are working, right? I don't want your leg just to drop. I want you to focus on all the muscles in your thighs. Drop it down, lift it up. Let's do one more. Drop it down, lift it up, hold it here. We have to pulse, squeeze, that's it. Pushing away from your mat so that your shoulders aren't getting all the stress. Squeeze for five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it in here, threading it through and bringing it into runner's lunge. Holding it here, right hand's gonna come down to the mat. Inhale, left arm's gonna come up, sweep it up. I'm not looking at you anymore, but you get the idea. Exhale, sweep it down. Inhale, bring it up. Beautiful, one more time. Exhaling down, and then inhaling up. Beautiful, bring your hands back to the ground, framing your left foot, squeezing your thighs together, right? Drawing that energy up. We're gonna pull ourselves up to standing. Here we go, lift it up. Yes. Hands into your heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, rise your arms up. And exhale through center. You're going to step that right leg back and go back into the lunge on the other side. So you're going to lift up your leg, step it back into the lunge. Beautiful. Sink it down nice and low. Arms out to the side. Sweep it all the way to the left this time. Twist. See how far you can twist. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, twist it out. Beautiful, inhale, back in. And then exhale out. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, back in. And then exhale, big twist. Beautiful, back into center here. Hands come into heart center. Let's pulse it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. It was harder on the other side, isn't it? Legs are getting tired. Four, three, Two, last one, hold it. We gotta come off that left heel. Ooh, remember if you fall, who cares? Just go with it, pulsing for 10. Nine, the lower you go, the harder it is. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the heel down, step it forward. Good, when you step forward, I really want you to squeeze into that glute. We're gonna do one more round of those lunges, reaching forward. So exhale, release your foot back into the lunge, reaching your arms in front of you, right? Really get your power forward. Really flat that tight core. We're gonna pulse here. So you're gonna drop and lift. Everything should be in that left leg now. A lot of power, you should feel it in your glute, your side thigh, and your hamstring. Lean forward a little bit more. Come on, you got this. For three, two, and one. Hands come down to the ground. Ah, step it back into plank. Hold it in here, rolling your shoulders down and back. Left leg's gonna come up, we're pulsing for 10. Squeeze through your glutes, lift it up, and reach. Remember finding length here. For four, three, two, last one, hold your leg up, chaturanga. Oh, a dog. And take it into a child's pose. Oh, take three breaths here, I'm gonna grab some water. Take your time to rest, catch your breath, and we'll go into another flow in a moment. The strange thing about doing live feeds is that you don't get to have the water breaks with everybody. It's, it's, it's always different to take mine on my own. I feel like I'm <coughs> gonna have to rush. Okay, so we're gonna come back into downward dog. Let's do it. All right, so from here, I want you to lift your, you know what, I'm gonna turn around guys. From here, I want you to lift your right leg up into the sky again. I want you to exhale, pull your right knee into your chest, squeeze, and then exhale, draw it up. This time I want you to take it to left, tricep, squeeze, beautiful, bring it back up. Do it again, stay with that left side for me, give me that twist, squeeze, nice. One more time, from here I want you to squeeze and hold it, and then I want you to thread your leg through so it's on the ground. Roll your left foot onto the side, and then inhale, bring it up into side plank. I want you to draw all your energy down, 
Sweep the ground. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, sweep it down. Inhale, sweep it all the way up. Woo, last two. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Last one, guys, you got this. Lift it up, squeeze. Beautiful, from here, keeping your left, bring your left hand back down to the ground. Pulling the knee back to where it was, pull it to that left tricep. Beautiful, and then exhale, stretch it up. Woo, take a moment here, center yourself. Very nice. Exhale, release that leg down. We're gonna go straight into the other side. So inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, pull your knee into your chest. First time, squeeze. Beautiful, inhale. Lift it up, exhale, twist it to the right this time. Big twist. Inhale, draw it up. Exhale, twist it right. Very nice, last one. Inhale. Exhale, twist, hold. And then draw the leg through. So you're on your sides of your feet. You're rolling onto the side edge of your foot. And then inhale, draw it up. You can hold it here, right? You can always release this knee down to the ground as well, right? This is challenging too. All right, let's sweep it down. Sweep and lift. I want a big lift. When you lift it up, I want you to swing your arm all the way up over your head. Lift it up, beautiful. Sweep it down. Lift it up. Last two. Exhale. Inhale up. Ooh, last one. Squeeze. Hold it here. Bring your right hand down. Pull the knee back to the tricep and then back into center. Take it to your plank. Oh, I, yeah, I did that wrong. Tara's behind me and she told me what I did wrong. Roll your shoulders down the back. Teachers don't always remember, right? Holding your plank. I want you to slowly bring yourself down into your elbows. Whew. So now we're in a low plank, okay? From here, I want you to step your right leg out to the side and then pull it back in and then left. Out and in. Out and in. That's it. Keep breathing. Keep holding it for 10, 9. You can always release down onto your knees here and still do this exercise. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful. From here, I want you to release your knees down into the ground. Stretch your arms back up and bring yourself up into tabletop. Beautiful. Roll your shoulders out for me. Give me a couple shoulder rolls. Inhale, I want you to rise your right arm up and give yourself a nice stretch. And then exhale, thread it through. But don't rest. I just want you to give yourself a nice thread through. And then inhale, rise it up again. Exhale, release it down, back into center. Other side, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it through. Stretch and reach, stretch out the back shoulder. Inhale, rise it up. And then exhale. Bring it back into center. Beautiful. Roll your shoulders back. We're gonna use the block. So we're gonna come up to standing and grab your block. Remember, don't have one. Don't worry about it. Otherwise, grab your block and then just meet me in standing. I would have taken us on a flow to get us there, but then it's hard to grab the block. <laughs> so we'll just start with the block. All right, so we're gonna bring it up into center. I'll come to the top of my mat. We're gonna bring it into chair a little bit here. Okay, a little bit of a flow. I'm probably gonna just keep moving. I don't know how I'll do this. I'll do it like this. This is another strange thing about doing live feeds. All right, relaxing your shoulders down and back. I want you to sink yourself into chair. So. Uh, toes are touching, heels are not, or you can have your feet a little bit more spread, right? If balance is an issue for you, make your hip, your feet as wide as your hips. Otherwise, to perform more of a challenge, shake them in. Sinking so yourself down into chair, rolling your shoulders down and back. I want you to squeeze the block. So I want you to think about a little bit of arm work here as well. All right, so from here in chair, when you lift up and rise up, you're gonna lift your right leg up to the sky and you're gonna reach your arms up. So it's gonna go like this, you're gonna lift, and reach, and then draw it back down. Staying with that side. Take it low, lift it up, squeeze. I just want you to really focus, pinpoint on the spot on the wall, whatever you need to. This is your left leg working. Squeeze and lift. The harder you're squeezing the block, the more arm work you're getting. So a lot of us are lacking our full workouts these days, and we don't have weights and stuff at home, so this is a great body weight exercise to get your arms to do a little bit more work. Take it down 
and then take it up. Two more. Down and up. Last one. Down. We're going to take it up. We're going to take it back down into that squat, that chair pose. Hold it here. Beautiful. When we rise up, we're not going to rise our arms this time, just our leg. So when you rise up, lift your knee now to the block and then take it down. So keep the block where it's at. Squeeze. I want you to focus on the crunch of this. This is your core working. Squeeze your knee up. Take it down. Squeeze. Take it down. Three more. Up. Left leg all through the heel. Squeeze through the glute. Beautiful. Last one. Hold it here. Squeeze. Hold it here. Slowly reach yourself, your foot back behind you to come into warrior three. So you're gonna push your heel to the back wall and reach your arms forward. From here, we're gonna crunch our body and so we're gonna bring our knee in towards our chest and the block in to touch the knee. Squeeze and reach. Beautiful. Squeeze. When you reach out, I want you to reach up as well so you get some lower back work. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale, left glute. Should be feeling this. If it isn't, try to see if you can connect it and squeeze it a little bit more so that it works more for you. Especially the left side can get a little lazy if you're right handed as well. Hold it here, squeeze. We're holding it. I want you just to pulse the leg. Pulse, pulse. Looking good. Seven, six, five. Hang on to it. Last three, two, and one. Oh, release it back into center. Walk it out. I hope you felt that left glute. I know I did. That's the one that's been paining me, so I feel it anyway. All right. <clears throat> coming back into chair. We're going to start that from the top on the other side. So sink yourself down into chair. Hold it here. We're going to inhale, lift our left knee up to the sky and reach it up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale. Beautiful. Exhale. Inhale. Take your time. Focus on the full movement. All your muscles working. Now it's your right leg you really want to focus on your core, and again your arms, right? Don't forget about those guys. Last three. Lift. Two. Beautiful, last one. Reach it up, take it down all the way. Keep the block where it's at now. Now the knee's just gonna come up to the block. Squeeze. Take it down. Squeeze it up, use your core. I want you to feel the crunch. Pull your belly button in and squeeze down. Take it up. That's it for three. Squeeze it up. Last two. Drawing the energy all the way to that block. It gives you a focal point. Last one. Hold it here. Hold it. Now slowly kick that left leg back behind you for your warrior three. Reaching your arms up and out. Crunch it all in. Squeeze the knee. Touch the block to the knee. Reach it up. Again. Pull it in, reach it out. Now I'd look over at the camera, but I can't, so I'll lose my balance. So I'm gonna stay with this and try to keep my balance. So remember, if you lose your balance, who cares? Just get back at it. It's a journey, not a destination. Last two, squeeze. Beautiful, last one, holding it. Kick it out, I want you to think about your right leg right now. Get the burn in there. Holding your warrior three, can I hold it? All right, we're gonna pulse the leg up for 10, nine, Eight, reach that block out. Don't have soft arms. I want strong arms here for four, three, two, and one. Oh. Warm now. Yes, we are. Inhale, rise it up. And then actually I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see me. So the block's up over your head. Maybe this is the best angle. Take your right foot out. So just like you're tapping it, right? A little bit of a dancer pose. Take the block a little bit over to the side. So can you see I'm on a side angle here? So from my foot all the way to the side. From here, you're gonna lift your right leg up and you're gonna pulse, I'm gonna lift it, squeeze. I want you to really stretch away from your body. This should make your heart pound because you've got that block up over your head making you work nice and hard. That's it for seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Ooh, release it down. I turned my phone off, but apparently that doesn't mean anything. 
All right, we're gonna go into the other side. Inhale, rise it up. Left leg's gonna come out. Take yourself to the side. Give yourself that bend, all right? That angle. Lift the left leg up, and we're gonna pulse it up. We're gonna squeeze. Squeeze, I lost my balance there for a minute, but I got it back. Reach the up, arms up away from your body. Lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, release it down, beautiful. Facing front, so whatever front is for your mat. I want you to exhale, forward fold. Take the block down to the ground, and I want you to just take this step forward, just kind of like, instead of it being right in front of your feet, just take it a step forward. From here, I want you to walk yourself back into plank, so you've got a little bit of an elevated, roll your shoulders down and back. I want you to pull your right knee to your chest, squeeze, exhale, release it back. Left side, squeeze, and back, keep it going. Right, back, left, you got it. For six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold your plank. We're not dead yet, roll your shoulders down the back. We're doing that one last time, and we're gonna do it fast. We're gonna do some mountain climbers. Are you ready? Right knee, left knee. We're gonna do 20 of them. We're gonna squeeze in and back, in and back. Hold your plank, hold your core. Keep it going, go slow, go fast. You choose for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release the knees to the ground. Give yourself a nice stretched out child pose. You can use the block to give you a little bit of elevation. Just breathe here. Oh, hope everybody's sweating. Oh, I know I am. All right, rolling yourself up into tabletop. We're gonna use the block, but we're gonna use it on the back. <coughs> Excuse me, so you're gonna use the block behind your knee. Now, like I said, this block's really big, so if it doesn't want to stay, it's not a big deal. The idea is when you have something behind you, it gives your hamstring a more of a connection, right? So you can always use a towel as well, or like I was saying, a ball is great. But it's more the idea that it just gives you something to kind of hold on to. If it drops, who cares? Just go with it. So you're going to get the block behind your right knee, and you're going to kind of squeeze it. So I need to flex in your heel a little bit. It kind of keeps you connected. Tuck your left toe for me. We're going to inhale, rise it up. Exhale, take it down. I'm gonna take it up. I can already feel myself losing it. Hold on to it, Leah. You're on the camera. Take it down and take it up. Squeeze. Good, keep that connection. Lifting it up and bring it all the way down. Don't lose it. Oh, there we go, I got it this time. Now I got it, I think. Almost shorts would be better, I think. For four, three, Two, last one, I want you to hold it up nice and high, hold it here. I want you to pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, hold it, take yourself down onto your forearms. Doing the same thing again, take it down, take it up, take it down, take it up, all the way up, all the way down, squeeze. That's it. Oh, totally lost at that time. I'm gonna try one more time to keep it and down. For four, three, two, last one, hold it up top, little pulses for 10, nine. I have a little bit of a shorter block at home and it works a little bit better. This one's just a little bit crazy, it's gone. For five, four, three, two, last one, hold that leg up for me. Hold it there. I want you to bring yourself back up into tabletop. Pull your knee down, I want you to take it out to the side and take it up, side. And up. These are fire hydrants. Out to the side and up. For six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Hold it up the top of me. Hold it here. Little pulses. Lift, lift, lift. Squeeze. For five, four, three, two. Last one. Take it down. Take it back up. Second set. Squeeze. Out to the side. Nice tight fire hydrant. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze for four, three, two, last one. Hold it at the top for me. We're going to do circles. Circle it back. Squeeze. Big circles. 
Draw it out, get your whole hip to move. Keep your knee bent for two. Last one, we gotta circle the other way. Circle it around. Squeeze, squeeze. It's so good, it gets your body moving in a different way. Squeeze. Last two. And last one, release it down. Nice work. Sweep it out side to side. Let both glutes release. Nicely done. We're gonna go into the other side. I'm gonna try it with the block to begin, but I'm sure I'm gonna lose it again, so. <laughs> but I gotta, I gotta try. I gotta start with it. So, going into the left side, toes are tucked under. You got that block as firmly as you can between your calf and your hamstring. All the way down, all the way up, right? Down and up. This helps you keep the connection, that block helps you keep the connection in your hamstring and really feel it burn more. Squeeze, I wish I could keep it. Squeeze, squeeze, you got it. For four, three, two, last one, hold it at the top, hold it here, pulse. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, last one, hold it at the top, bring yourself down onto your elbows, second set. Down and up, down. And up, there it goes. Down and up. Keep going for five, four, three, two. Last one, hold it at the top, hold it here for me and pulse. Pulse, squeeze. You got it. Belly's tight. Don't stop. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold that leg up for me. Bring yourself back into tabletop. There it goes and too far for me to grab it, so it's gone. Take it down, we're going to those fire hydrants. Taking it out to the side and in. Out and in, out. Squeeze it up as high as you can. Really focus on your range of motion here. Just makes you realize how little we do this range for our hip. It's really good for it. Last three, two, last one, hold to the top. Can you pulse, squeeze, don't let it drop. This is where it gets really hard because our legs just like, no, I don't want to do this. For four, three, two, and one, take it down, and up. Ah, oh, little break. Keep it going. Squeeze. For five, four, three, two, last one, hold it at the top for me, hold it here. We got our circles, squeeze. Big circles, draw them out. Get your whole glute working for you. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze it. Last time around, let's go the other way. Squeeze. Good. One way is a little easier. Oh, my left butt cheek and my right butt cheek are screaming. Last time. Oh, I'm gonna release it down. Rock it out side to side. Nice work, guys. All right, let's bring it down to seated here. See how much time we have left. We gotta fit all of our core stuff in now. Okay, let's grab our walk again. We should be good, I think. Yes. Okay. Got about 15 minutes, give or take. A little bit less for abs, and that's a long time for abs, so <laughs> you don't want to necessarily do abs that whole time. Okay, so we've got our block again. If we don't have it, we don't have it, no big deal. All right. <laughs> we're gonna do some side twists. So you have options here to be on your heels or you can come up, right, off. Sometimes people think that having their legs up is like the best thing because it's gonna make it so much harder, but if you have too much hip flexor stuff going on, you're just gonna feel the burn there and that's not where I want you to feel it. So sometimes having your feet on the ground is better for the core. So just choose, see where you feel it most. I want you to feel it in your core most, okay? So you're gonna lean back, so you're off your tailbone, shoulders are back. Now we're gonna take it from side, Decide. I want you to look at your block, right? See where it's going. That helps you get more ab connection when you actually look at where the block's going because it makes you twist a little bit deeper. So now from here, if you want to try, bring your legs up and twist and twist. Good. And now can you reach the block a little further away? Maybe so it's not so close. Squeeze. So not only are you getting the twist, but you're also getting an oblique reach, right? Can you feel that? Let's do 10. Nine. Don't give up. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. From here, rolling yourselves down onto your back. I want you to take the block between your ankles, okay? 
So you're squeezing up here. Hands are down at your side, underneath your bum. A little bit if that feels good. Or you can have your head up. It depends on what feels better for you. The biggest thing is I want your lower back to be flat. I'm gonna keep my head up for a minute just so you can see me and I can see you, so to speak. Stretch your legs up. You're gonna slowly bring them down as far as you can go without having your back arch and then exhale, draw them up. That's it, nice and slow. Straight, straight legs. If your back is arching, you're losing the connection, so don't let your back arch. Squeeze the heck out of that block. It's gonna make it a lot harder. When we do that, it helps us connect with our pelvis, our pelvic floor. So you can get kind of a Kegel in here as well, but it also helps connect with the lower abdominals. For three, nice strong breath. Last two. Last one from here, keeping your legs up. Squeeze them up. You're gonna do little hip pops. So I'm gonna get you to lift your hips up to the sky and drop them down, squeeze. By drop, I don't mean actually drop. Really make sure you control. Squeeze that block for me. Don't let it go. For five, four, three, two. Last one, breathe. Hold it here, second set. This is where the magic happens. Legs should be hurting, core should be hurting already. Are you ready? Dropping your legs down. Pull it up, squeeze. Drop it down. Maybe you're not dropping it as deep the second set because it's burning so bad. That's great. That means it's working. Squeeze that block for me. Straight legs, you've only got three to go. Stay with me, last two. Breathe, I know it's uncomfortable. That's what makes it different and makes us change. Legs up, hip pops last time. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze. Squeeze, you wanna make it really hard to get your hands up over your head. Squeeze for four, three, two. You got this last one. And release it down. Woo. Nice work, guys. Okay, so from here, let's take the block between our knees, okay? Oh, give yourself a second here, but we're gonna do more, 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 more. Okay, so from here, I want your knees squeezing the ball, or the block, the block, not the ball. I want your hands onto your thighs, and what I want you to do is you want to roll your fingertips as high as you can to touch your knees, and then slide them down. I don't want your hands to leave your thighs. So a lot of times we do like this, right? That's not what this is about. It's a slide up and a slide down. Squeeze. This makes it a lot harder, and I want you to squeeze the block as well. That's it. Squeeze, draw it up. Draw that energy. Lift. Five more. Squeeze. You should really feel this in your rectus abdominis, which is the one that just goes straight up and down your six pack. For three, two, keep those hands connected. I left for a second. I'm back. Last one. Beautiful. From here, take your hands to your side. Walk your heels in a little bit. I want you to slide, tap one heel, and then the other heel, slide. I don't want you to look like a duck when you're doing this. Penguin, in nice and tight to your side body. If it hurts your neck, you can have one hand behind your head and just alternate. Take it side to side. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, from here, let your head rest down for a second, bring your knees up for me. So you still got that block between the knees. Now grab onto the backs of your thighs and pull yourself up into a crunch. Your hands are gonna be behind your head, okay? So we're in this tight little ball. I want you to pull your knees in and your elbows to touch. So I'm gonna squeeze it in, and then I want you to open everything up and reach it out. Squeeze it in, reach it out. See if you can get your elbows and knees to touch. Squeeze it in. Reach it out, squeeze. I hope your abs are burning because mine are. Squeeze and reach. You got it. The lower you go with the reach for your legs, the harder it's gonna be. If it's really challenging, just reach them up to the sky, right? Squeeze it in, reach them out. Can we do four more? Squeeze and reach. We don't want to, but we're gonna do three, two. Beautiful, last one. Oh. Release it down. Oh, make sure wait for those knees. Let everything go. 
Okay, from here, we're gonna hold the block. Okay, we're going to bring our legs up into the sky. Yes, see? You don't wanna do 15 minutes of abs. I know, everything's hurting. All right, so arms are gonna be up above the head with the block. When you come up into a crunch, you're gonna reach the block between your legs and then bring it back. Squeeze and reach. Squeeze. That's it, use your power breath. <sighs> Belly's tight. Don't push out. If you push out, you build out. So you just want to suck your belly in. For four, we're holding the last one. Three, two, last one. Hold it here. Hold it. Now pulse, pulse, pulse. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh. Okay. We've got one more core exercise to do. It's Pilates, Pilates straight leg drops. And then we're gonna do one more glute and then we're done. So from here, you've got options. You're either gonna just get rid of the block and put your hands behind your head, or you're gonna hold the block. So I'm gonna show you both options. I'll show you with the, without the block maybe first. So legs are gonna be up, hands are behind the head. You're just gonna reach one leg and then the other leg, right? Nice straight leg drops. If you have the block, you're gonna hold it here. Ooh, that is a challenge, trust me. So if you wanna go for it, let's do it. We're gonna drop. So I'm gonna scissor those legs. Reach, I want your chin tucked, looking kind of at mid-thigh so that you're not stressing out your neck. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Legs can go straight. Arms up over your head. I want you to do a big belly arch. Stretch it out. And then let it go. Beautiful. All right. Let's go into our bellies. I think, do we have time for that? Oh, this is going to be a power three minutes, okay? One more for the lower back and then a quick glute. Let's see if we can put it in. We'll see if it cuts me off. Okay, so grab onto your block if you've got it. No big deal if you've left it behind. We're gonna do um, back extensions with the block, okay? So make sure I'm in the picture here. All right, so your head is looking down, your inhale, rise it up, exhale, squeeze it down. Squeeze. I wanna lift that block again. The higher, the tighter you squeeze the block, the more arm work you're gonna get, all right? Lift. Lift. Keep breathing, we're gonna do four more. We're gonna hold the last one, taking your time for three, Two, last one, hold it here, hold it. I want you to point your toes out and I want you to click your heels together like your Dorothy, there's no place like home. Click, 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 squeeze. I want you to lift up your back a little bit higher, reach the block up a little bit higher, squeeze those glutes, get the legs a little bit higher. Squeeze, you got this, come on, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, release back, child's pose. Give yourself a nice breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, I want you to roll forward and let your hips drop and let your heart come to the sky, toes towards the back of your head. Exhale, roll it back. Inhale, bring it forward. Beautiful. Two more times. Nice little flow here. Bring it forward. Beautiful, last one. All the way back, all the way forward. Hold it here for a second for me. Hold it here. Let your legs come down straight and just let your belly flow down, release down to the mat. This just stretches out the core, the abs a little bit, especially up at the top, close to the rib cage. Beautiful. And exhale, just release it down. All right, bringing yourself back up. This is the last of the work, guys. Okay. Grabbing the block, bring it between your knees. We're just gonna finish with a bridge, okay? And then we're all done. We're gonna, we'll finish with a twist. A bridge and a twist, and then. All right, so weights in the heels. Take your arms, go into robot arms, so elbows pushing down into the mat, rolling your shoulders back, squeeze up and lift. Get your glutes up as high as you can. You want the added challenge, you're coming up onto your toes. I want you to drop halfway down and up, down and up. Just repeat, repeat squeeze. Not letting your hips touch the ground. Lift. You got it. Lift. Now, 
The block's there for a reason, it's there for us to squeeze. Right, so the next time that we just hold it up at the top, hold it here, and it's what you can squeeze the block with your knees. Squeeze, 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 pulses, pulses, get your hips as high as you can for 10, 9, 8, 7. I want you to hold that last squeeze for me. So see how tight you can squeeze that block in 3, 2, and 1. Now squeeze that block as hard as you can. It should make your legs shake. Now repeater, dropping your hips and lift. But you're squeezing the block really tight now. You're really focusing on it. Squeeze. Get those hips higher. Squeeze it up. Squeeze. Don't lose the connection on the block. For five, four, we're going to hold it up there. Three, two, last one. Hold it here. Now I want you to wiggle your hips. So I want you to drop your right butt cheek, lift up your left, and then sway it up. So you're going side. To side, you're swinging your hips, you're like a hula girl, squeeze, squeeze, keep that block squeezing, and squeeze side to side, see how high you can get your left butt cheek, and then right butt cheek, come on, left, right, left, right, eight, seven, six, we're almost there, we got one more little pulse, four, three, Two, last one, hold it at the top. Get both butt cheeks going. Get it as high as you can. Pulsing that block. Last time, you can do this. Squeeze, squeeze. Pulse that block, squeeze. Almost let the ball block drop and then squeeze it. Squeeze it, squeeze it. For five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, bring it down. Nice work, bring your knees up. Rock it out side to side. I'm keeping my block here although you don't need to. We're just gonna do a twist. So from here, you're gonna keep the connection with your knees. This just helps keep your hips actually stabilized as you do a twist. So if you take your arms out to cactus, you just slowly let your lip, knees lift them up and draw them up over to the left. Turn your head to the right and just let everything go. You don't have to squeeze the block anymore. Taking two nice breaths here. In your own time, on your next inhale, I want you to squeeze the block again and pull it back up into center. Then we're taking it right over to the other side. So releasing down, taking your head towards the left. Just breathing here. Three nice breaths. On your next inhale, pull your knees back up through center, getting rid of the block if you've got it. So open your hands behind your thighs, so between your calves and your hamstrings. We're going to rock ourselves up three times. Rolling up your spine and taking it all the way back up into seated where we started. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I know I went a little long, but I hope you had fun. Hope you got a little bit of a glute burn and a core burn. I hope you have a great Friday and a long weekend. Enjoy the sunshine because I don't think it's going to last. Bye.